Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this case. This is definitely not really for YouTube. So I'm just going to put a few minutes on YouTube. Then y'all can go to the podcast and listen to the rest of the show. Now, I first heard about this late last night. If you guys do not know, a federal judge, she's the first Latina judge. She's the first female Latina U.S. federal judge appointed to her position. And she was appointed by Barack Obama. And so what happened yesterday is that basically... Um, in her home in New Jersey, it was her 20 year old son. He heard a ring at the doorbell. He went to go open the door. He saw a FedEx delivery person. And upon opening the door, the FedEx delivery person pulled out a gun and shot him in the heart. Her husband heard the noise. He comes running upstairs. And then that same person starts shooting her husband. She's downstairs the whole time. He doesn't go in the house to go look for her. He ends up running off. So it was a lot of craziness. A lot of people suspected it was some type of hit. Because if you guys do not know, just four days ago, she was assigned to handle a lawsuit from the Deutsche Bank investors regarding Jeffrey Epstein. So a lot of people are tying two and two together. Like how convenient after they appoint her to this case, you know, her loved ones end up dead. Was that a sign to her to tell her to leave the case? What is going on? I want you guys to go ahead and listen to the initial news report. Check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Breaking news overnight. A deadly shooting at the home of a federal judge in New Jersey. Her son killed, her husband critically wounded after a man dressed as a FedEx driver came to their door and opened fire. Stephanie Ramos has the very latest. Overnight, a manhunt for the man officials believe opened fire on a federal judge's home, killing her son and wounding her husband at the front door. We advise you have two victims. Sources tell ABC News the gunman may have been posing as a FedEx delivery driver when he arrived at the home of U.S. District Court of New Jersey Judge Esther Salas at 5 p.m. Sunday evening. Investigators say when her 20-year-old son, Daniel, opened the door, the shooter shot him, killing Daniel and hitting his father father, a prominent criminal defense attorney multiple times. Just wonderful, wonderful people. This is an absolute shock. Judge Salas has presided over many high profile cases like Real Housewives star Teresa Judice's trial for fraud. And most recently, she was assigned to a case involving Jeffrey Epstein. The judge was reportedly in the basement when the shootings happened. She was not harmed and police have not identified any suspects or a potential motive. The FBI and U.S. Marshals are investigating this morning, along with multiple other agencies. Sources say Salas has received threats in the past, but don't believe any have been made recently. It's something for every citizen of the United States who cares about law and order to be concerned about, not just our town. Judge Salas' son, Daniel, was her only child and a freshman at Catholic University in D.C. Here in the neighborhood, there are officers posted. You could see the yellow crime scene tape in front of the house right now. And authorities say they are still trying to find a motive and also that lone gunman. Wit. A disturbing case. Stephanie Ramos for us. Thank okay, so you guys just heard that. So it's just really disturbing that somebody would come as a FedEx driver. And even then, it just didn't make any sense because... All they really had to do if this was really a FedEx driver gone wild is basically pull all the timesheets of what FedEx drivers were in what area, you know, who had routes and things like that. So that's why a lot of people are like, this is bullshit. Obviously, this person had on a FedEx costume. They were not a real FedEx driver. So now what's even more crazy, now it's been announced that the person who killed her 20-year-old son and shot her husband, he's being identified as like this angry anti-feminist lawyer. Now his name is Roy Den Hollander. And he's known for like suing all types of companies, nightclubs, you know, anything that favors women. He hates it. He's supposedly anti-feminist. You know how they say women can get into the bar free before like 11 o'clock. He would sue a nightclub and say that it's not fair. Women shouldn't get into bars free before a certain time. They should have to pay just like men. 
I mean, he's just filed all types of frivolous lawsuits. What's even crazier is that he didn't really know this judge, but he had wrote a self-published book. It was a 1700 page book. And in the book, he describes the judge as a lazy, incompetent Latina judge appointed by Obama. So that's raising up a lot of red flags for people. Okay. So he showed up at the house. He ends up, you know, killing the son, wounding the father, running off. And then now it's being announced as of literally an hour ago that he's the one who did it. I just find it very convenient that they found him and he had the package in his car. So it was just announced as of an hour ago that he was found. And um, he's the one who did this. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this updated news story. Go ahead and check this out. Uh, breaking news. We have just learned that the man accused of killing the son uh, uh, of federal judge in New Jersey and shooting her husband has been found dead. Police say the shooter showed up at the North Brunswick home of the judge dressed as a FedEx driver. And when the son answered the door, he opened fire. The husband of Judge Esther Salas is now in critical condition. She was in the basement of the home and is unarmed. But again, the suspect that police are telling us has been found dead and they're saying by suicide. By suicide. Now to a murder Here's investigation that's been and multiple states. The family of a judge shot at their New Jersey home and a man possibly linked to the crime found dead in Sullivan County. And tonight we're learning that the suspect may be linked to a murder all the way on the West Coast. We have team coverage on this story. We'll begin with our chief investigative reporter, Jonathan Deans, part of the team that broke the story for us yesterday, and he's been on it today. Jonathan. David, the FBI says he was targeting the judge and her family and perhaps a lawyer in California last week, too. Those who knew him described him as an oddball attorney. And in his writings, he raged against women and joined anti-feminist groups on Facebook. And he voiced anger at federal judge Esther Salas before he allegedly went to her New Jersey home yesterday. This is attorney Roy Den Hollander, and law enforcement officials say he was found dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound near Liberty, New York, this morning. And it was yesterday, the FBI and U.S. Marshals believe, Hollander showed up at the home of federal Judge Salas. There, police say he shot and killed her son, wounded her husband. The judge was not injured. Hollander appeared in front of the judge last year in a fight over whether the military draft can be men only. The suspected killer later called the well-respected judge, quote, a lazy and incompetent Latina judge appointed by Obama. Hollander also wrote of his hatred of his own mother and other women and raged about female judges. Neighbors in North Brunswick saddened by the shooting, calling the judge and her family wonderful people. This family was a tight family. Just close, loving, doting parents. In addition to the upstate search, the FBI searching Hollander's Manhattan apartment for evidence, including perhaps a delivery or FedEx uniform used by the shooter at the judge's New Jersey home. The FBI believes Hollander's violent rampage may have started last week in California. There, a 52-year-old men's rights lawyer, Mark Angelucci, was shot and killed also apparently by a man in a FedEx or delivery uniform. And not knowing that there was an assassin at the door, when he got Mark from his office, he saw the gun turn, tried to run away, and was shot in the back four times. Angelucci had also argued a case involving the question of drafting men only for the military. Okay, so you guys just heard that news story. Now, what I find very interesting about this, it's almost too perfect of a situation. Um, if you read the article in the New York Times or on Yahoo News, this is what it states. It says that the gunman dressed as a FedEx delivery man had opened fire at their home, the police say. A package addressed to Judge Silas was found inside his car, sources say. So how convenient that they end up not only finding this man who supposedly killed himself i believe he was suicided but they say he supposedly killed himself and they found the package in the car tying him to the murder of the judge i find that very very interesting and i'm not buying it i feel like there's bigger things at play and i feel like it was a sloppy hit you know um they're also saying that he had cancer so for him he had nothing else to live for he only had a few months left so he wanted to take other people with him now i believe that he possibly did hate women but Somebody sent him there. Somebody sent him on that mission, if this is the guy who did it, to go and kill her. And being that she was not killed, that was a sloppy hit job. 
And I believe that that's why he was suicided. I'm not buying this story because this woman has dealt with so many high profile cases. It's crazy. Everything from Teresa and Joe Judice to locking up, you know, big time members of the Bloods in New Jersey. What's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.